Once you have your vehicle supported on jack stands, go ahead and grab your jack. You wanna put a block of wood on there and we're gonna use our screw jack here and we're going to raise this up, up against our oil pan. I'm going to slightly apply a little bit of pressure. Using a 15 millimeter deep socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove this nut here and this nut over here. Using a 50 millimeter shallow socket and swivel, we're gonna remove this bolt up here and one just behind it. Can't use the ratchet in here because of the angle kind of limits the amount of space all right we have that bolt out there between the passenger side low control arm and the subframe we're going to come up here just below the crank shaft pulley and there is a 15 millimeter bolt we're going to use our deep socket and we're going to loosen this and remove it and get that bolt out. Now that we have our mount loose, we're going to go ahead and rotate this towards us. So we have access to the mounting bracket bolt on the top. Let's go ahead and remove those two nuts and remove this bracket. Using a 15 millimeter deep socket, let's go ahead and remove these nuts. Now you can see liquid leaking out. This is a hydraulic mount. Pull our bracket off, set that aside. We'll go ahead and feed our mount up. At this point here, we want to go ahead and install our bracket. Once we have our upper bracket installed and those nuts are nice and tight, let's get our mount down into position. Lower this down and let's install our two lower nuts. Now we can go ahead and lower our engine down onto the mount. So we're gonna leave the mount a little bit loose so we have a little bit of adjustability here. We can use our pry bar I'm going to put this up underneath between the subframe and the AC compressor and we're just going to gently slide or rock the motor over and try and get our bolts installed. And get that one installed there. Let's go ahead and install our one beside it. We just want to get these caught a few threads. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and lower the engine back down until we can get our bolt hole lined up 
with the front of this mount. We have all three of these bolts in. Let's go ahead and snug those all down. Tighten up the mount to motor bolts here. Now that we have all of our bolts snugged into place, we can now lower our we can now lower our engine jack here. Now the three bolts for our bracket to motor should be torqued to 43 foot pounds. If you have the ability to do so, go ahead and torque it. Let's go ahead and torque our lower bolts to 37 foot pounds.